Greetings one and all and welcome to this lesson. All right, in this lesson we will be considering we will be considering question number 3 from a BGCSE biology paper 2 past paper. All right, this is all the way from 2010. Again, this is a BGCSE biology paper 2 past paper and we are going to be looking at question number three okay and so let's consider it question number three states that the table shows the bubbles produced by a water plant in a bright light and so here we have a table the table has one two columns all right now this column is is entitled distance from light and this is going to be the distance from the light is measured in centimeters okay that's a unit of measure for distance. And here on this column, we have a number of bubbles produced per minute. And so this is telling us that when the water plant is 15 centimeters, all right, from the light, the number of bubbles that are, that are produced per minute is 38. Now, when the plant, when we move the plant further away from the light, so for, at first it was 15 centimeters away from the light. Now it's 25 centimeters away from the light. When that happens, the number of bubbles produced per minute is actually 21. Next, if we pull the plant, the water plant, even further away, we to 35 centimeters, we find that the number of bubbles produced goes lower again, and it's 10 bubbles produced per minute. Now, if we pull that plant, that water plant, up back again all the way to 45 centimeters right if we pull it all the way five 45 centimeters away from the light the number of bubbles produced per minute goes even lower all the way to seven bubbles produced per minute and so question 3a states the following 3ai rather states the following it says state two factors other than moving the light closer to the plant that would increase the rate of photosynthesis of the water plant. So state two factors, other than moving the light closer to the plant that would increase the rate of photosynthesis of the plant, okay? So let's dive in. And so what we're gonna do here, let's extend this out, okay? And let's answer this question. Okay, so state two factors other than moving the light closer to the plant that would increase the rate of photosynthesis of the water plant. What if we increase, okay, what if we increase the amount of water? So increasing, all right, increasing, increasing the amount of water, increasing the amount of water all right that would increase the rate of photosynthesis of the water plant okay also increasing all right increasing so let's spell increasing properly so we're listing two factors that would increase the rate of photosynthesis if we increase the amount of water that would increase the rate of photosynthesis of the water plant and if we increase okay if we increase so increasing the amount of carbon dioxide, okay? Increasing the amount of carbon dioxide. This will also increase the rate of photosynthesis of the water plant. Excuse me. All right, awesome. So let's move on to the other question. It says, how does the distance from the light affect the production of bubbles right how does the distance from the light affect the production of bubbles that's look closely right so notice that here we is we is 15 centimeters away from the light then it's was a great number of bubbles produced that was 38 per, um, bubbles produced per minute but the further we go down all right the further we go the further we increase the distance of the water plant to the light. So the further we go away, 
the further we go away from um, the, the light, we notice that the number of bubbles produced per minute actually goes down, all right? And so the answer here, all right, so let's answer it properly. So let's go and take this question and place it onto our question onto our PowerPoint. So let's answer this question directly. It says, how does the distance from the light affect the production of bubbles? Well, the answer to this is that the further the distance, so the further, the further, so let's spell that correctly, the further, the further, the distance the water plant is from the light the less bubbles are produced the less bubbles, all right, the less bubbles are produced. Okay, so the further the distance the water plant is from the light, the less bubbles are produced. Okay, great. Next up, name the gas inside the bubbles. So name the gas inside the bubbles, all right? And so let's name the gas that is inside the bubbles. So let's take this question and extend it out so that we could be able to write on it. And so we're gonna name the gas that is inside the bubbles and the gas that is inside the bubbles is oxygen. Oxygen, okay? All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Now, for this question, they ask us name the part of the cell in which photosynthesis takes place. So, name the part of the cell in which photosynthesis takes place. So, there is a part of the cell where photosynthesis takes place, and for this question, they want us to name that part of the cell where photosynthesis take place. And so let's do that. Let's answer this question. So name the part of the cell in which photosynthesis takes place. All right. So let's do that. That would be the chloroplast. Okay. So the part of the cell in which photosynthesis take place is the chloroplast. Okay, moving right along. All right, so it says state two differences between photosynthesis and respiration. State two differences between photosynthesis and respiration. Both of these are processes, but what are the differences between these two different, these two processes? Okay, so here they want us to state two differences between photosynthesis and respiration. Okay, so let's um place this question up above, and we're gonna answer it using this text box. So oxygen, okay, so oxygen is a byproduct. Okay, oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. So the byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen. Whereas, right, so here's the difference, here's where the difference lies, right? Whereas carbon dioxide, right, carbon dioxide is a byproduct of respiration. So how do these two processes differ? Well, for one, right, um, photosynthesis, the byproduct of photosynthesis is actually oxygen, okay? And so plants give off oxygen, okay? 
they give off oxygen. That's the, that's the byproduct of photosynthesis. But for respiration, that's what humans do. That's what, um, when we're breathing, right? Um, when that process, the byproduct of that process is carbon dioxide and we, we exhale carbon dioxide, okay? So we ex exhale carbon dioxide, all right? And the plants are gonna give out oxygen, okay? So it's a it's a it's a win-win situation. The, the the plants would like carbon dioxide, and we need photo we need oxygen, okay? But the byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen, and the byproduct of carbon dioxide is resp respiration. But it's interesting because what is one man's waste is another man's um, treasure, and so. For us, carbon dioxide is a waste product, but for the plant, no, that's they 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 they, they want um, carbon dioxide. For the plant, their waste product is oxygen, and but for us, we need oxygen. Okay, so let's move on. So glucose, the next thing is glucose. All right, glucose is the main product of photosynthesis. So glucose is going to be the main thing that's made, all right? Whereas, sorry, we start this wrong, photosynthesis. Whereas, okay, so here we state in the difference, energy, right? Energy is the main product of respiration. So, so photosynthesis and respiration differ not only in their byproduct, right? not only in their, not only in their byproduct, okay, but also in the main product produced, okay, all right. So, for photosynthesis, the main product is glucose, all right. The main product is glucose, but for respiration, the main product produced is energy. Okay, so that's another difference, all right. What's another difference? Certainly they only ask for two, but we gonna give you more. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis occurs. Let us first photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts, right? Of plants, right? So inside the cells of the plants, we have the chloroplast, okay? And that's where photosynthesis is gonna occur. But respiration, okay, respiration occurs in the mitochondrion, okay, mitochondrion of animals. It's that's important to consider. So, Where's the difference? Well, the difference um, lies in the byproducts. The difference lies in the products. And the difference also lies, I will put here, in the location. All right? So we can point out three differences. Certainly don't, they only ask us for two. But here I'm giving you more. We can point out differences in terms of byproduct. You can point out differences in terms of product, I mean, but also point out differences in terms of location, all right, location. Okay, so we're not done. Even though we're almost done with this section, we're, we're not done yet. This last question states the following. And so let's get this question and put it on another slide. And it says, predict, right? So we have to predict. So it says here, predict how the rate of photosynthesis of the water plant would be affected if the only light shining on it was a green light. Now, they also want us to explain our answer. So here, they, they want us to state the prediction. And in the next line, they want us to provide an answer. So here we would say for the prediction, 
how would how would um how would the rate of photosynthesis of that water plant be affected by the shining of green light so if we shine green light on that water plant um how would the rate of photosynthesis uh, how would that affect the rate of photos of, of photosynthesis would it increase the rate of photosynthesis would it decrease the rate of photosynthesis what's going to happen okay so here for this one we have green light so green light is going to do what green light would decrease right? green light would decrease Green light would decrease. So this is our prediction. That green light would decrease the rates of photosynthesis. So that's the prediction. So we're saying if we shine green light on this water plant, it's actually going to decrease the rate of photosynthesis. Now the question is, why? What is the explanation? Okay, why? This is because green light, right? So the explanation is the following. Green light, right, is reflected, right? Green light is reflected by the leaves, by the leaves of plants. So green light is affected by the leaves of plants. All right, and so there you have it. We have completed question number three for that paper. Hopefully, you hopefully this was helpful to you, and I'll see you in another video.